Hello everyone this is Ashish welcome back to Talk 4712 and today we are going to talk about the full day routine that you should be having on a daily basis in the final moment of your preparation towards gate examination what are the essential things that you should be dividing your days into so what are the things that you should be focusing on in the last two months let us look at it revision obviously whatever you have studied so far that should be covered second one syllabus completion true what is left that has to be done i'm sure that everyone is not done with 100% of the syllabus by the end of november and only some portion will be left for all of you guys and that has to be covered one by one as well but i do understand that if you prepared smartly then it will be small subjects that are left which can be accommodated easily what is the third one now this is the one that most people miss out the most and that is the practice you have to practice as much as you can this is the final stage and on the day of the examination this is what you are going to be needing the most speed and accuracy and these are things that can be definitely improved in the last moment as well now you have completed somewhere on 70 80 or 90% of the syllabus depending on the individual now it is time to practice and rehearse it again and again so that how much you can recall and also how fast you can do how accurately you can do so practice is going to be highly essential so let us get into them one by one revision how are you going to do revision see revising your class notes or whatever you have written on your notebook or everything that you have studied from the books it is not going to be done over here throw them th- and throw those things away you are going to be only wasting time using that if you have to do it you have to stick to the short notes so that revision is quick you have to revise mostly using the subject wise test series so if a particular subject you are weak at or you want to revise it revise using micro notes short notes and then give the test series and then find out the weaknesses and only revise that part if needed then you can go back to your class notes or you can go back to the books that you use to study other than that you have to use the time very efficiently over here this is where most people mess up so if you want to revise everything that you studied over here 100% with 100% efficiency you won't be able to do it nobody will be able to do it so if you want to do it properly then you have to do it systematically you cannot go for every topic to the books or the class notes you have to stick to the portion that is weak and that can be found out using the subject wise test series and the subject wise test series basically i'm talking about cyclic revision about which we have talked about somewhere on 2 to 3 months ago as well so if you are talking about revision and that is your revision revising the weaknesses and whatever is strong you do not need to waste time over there now second form of revision is highly important and that is revising your micro notes so micro notes will be consisting of important formulas or things that you can easily forget but still is very important for your day of the examination so those will be written in let us say 20 25 pages and that you will be revising on a daily basis it will be taking some around 1 to 1 and a half hour every day and you have to invest that much amount of time whether invest it on the morning or invest it in the evening or in divide it like morning i'll be investing some around 45 minutes evening i'll be investing before going to sleep some around 45 minutes but it is very very important because the formulas are the most important essence of the competitive examination you forget that does not matter how good your concept is you are not going to be able to solve the problems the second one is going to be practice don't worry i'm also going to be telling you how you need to be dividing your days throughout the day what should be your routine but first let us understand what you need to do and also why you need to do so i'm explaining why it is so important to highly focus on these things that i'm discussing over here so i've already discussed why practice is very very important what you need to do for practice subject wise test series full length test series as you transform from december to january more attention towards full length test series and revising the weak portion of that after you have done the analysis of full length test series also for core branches you will be having engineering services previous year question and isro previous year question now it is time for you to start solving them if you haven't and my god if you haven't solved gate previous year question then you should not be appearing for gate examination so if you haven't that is the first thing you do but for the most more serious students if some of the engineering services previous year questions which are portion uh, which is coinciding 
in syllabus when it comes to gate examination then definitely solve that for example mechanical engineering heat transfer thermodynamics fluid mechanics if any portion is left use that that is also acting like a practice only why because isro and engineering services previous year questions both are one mark questions and in gate examination one mark questions are there you might be very aware of that and people who are very good in solving one mark questions quickly and accurately they get a lot of time in solving two marks question and that creates all the difference so you should be getting practice from that as well if all the engineering services isro previous year questions are done then you can just you give more and more test series then maybe you can give test series of two different coaching institutes all right so practice you have to do a lot and i would say somewhere around 60 to 70 percent of it of your time daily should be invested towards practice because that is what you're going to do on the day of the examination solving numericals so that is what you should be doing more and more at this stage of your preparation now the third one is going to be syllabus completion now syllabus completion of the minor subjects that are left you are going to be doing that slowly and slowly but you have to complete it by december favorably because in january you will be investing more and more time towards a revision so let us say there's somewhere on 20 percent syllabus remaining then you'll have to divide that some part during the day now you have understood what are the different things that we are going to be doing we are going to be practicing revising and completing now how do we divide a particular day let us see the first thing that you do in the morning is revising the micro notes then the second thing that you do is give a test series favorably now i'm not saying that give test series every day but if you have planned a test series on that particular day by the way i've talked about what should be the frequency of test series in a previous video but if you have planned a test series on that day try to give it in morning or if you have already gotten the slot of your examination let us say evening shift or morning shift and give in that particular uh, shift or whatever is the time in which you're going to have the final examination so that part is fixed how much time is it going to take three hours let us say we are having 12 hours throughout the day apart from all the daily chores and all three hours is gone now we are remaining with nine hours one hour let us say two hours in invest is invested in revising the micro notes now we are remaining with seven hours what are the other things that we have to do test series analysis that will take somewhere one to two hours more now we are remaining with five hours five hours what are we going to invest in revising and practicing practicing is done by test series only on the day of the test series other days you can do other things that i've already mentioned but remaining five hours you can invest in revising so revising what we have to revise we'll find out using the test series that we have given whatever is the weakness you have to revise that and now it is no longer the time that you are going to revise today then after one month and you're going to have a proper plan now you have to revise whatever is weak for you and that is what you are going to be investing a lot of your time in if your subjects are very good then you can give some more time towards practicing practice more give more test series if a subject is not that bad but was just a little bit bad because you forgot about few things no need to revise a lot of that subject but give another subject wise test series so you can improve much more faster and this is the way how you'll actually find improvements while you're giving test series in the final stages otherwise most people so see a downward spiral that their marks is either stagnant or it is decreasing to the point at which they just give up and they just stop it and they are going to say that i'll see what happens on the day of the examination so we do not play like that so that's about it guys i'll see all of you in the next one till then bye